South Wales. I don't even know how far we are from home. Six, seven hours? It felt like days. Coffee? Tea? Coffee. Got a couple of days off. I spent some time by the sea, then head to the mountains. And then um head all the way back home again. First stop was One Boyne Beach. Massive, peaceful, and completely empty. Overlooking Disaster Bay, you could see absolutely for miles. It's a good start to the trip. The tracks in and out were pretty easy going and the plan was to spend as much time as we could exploring Ben Boyd National Park. Alright. We'd booked in for a couple of days at Batangabee Campground. It's a good little spot down there and it wasn't too busy. We set up in a few minutes and uh, cracked open a cold one. The campground stayed pretty quiet, but eventually we did have a few nosy neighbours. There's a 30 k walk from Boyd Tower in the north all the way down to Green Cape Lighthouse in the south. It hugs the coastline and you normally do it in a couple of days. Day two for us was doing maybe 4 or 5 k of this. And with a bit of luck, maybe see a bit of the local bird life or seals or a couple of whales. literally two minutes, three minutes, just to go film that blowhole. I think she's asleep already. Sadly, we didn't see any whales, or seals, or birds. But we did get welcomed back to camp by the loudest cicadas we'd ever heard. If we didn't see whales on day two, day three was gonna be very different. Despite the rain, we were determined to go and explore Green Cape and check out the lighthouse. <laughs> <You told. laughs> Cue Emma's excited noise.
we'd never seen whales in the wild before. And in the space of 10 minutes, we saw three pods, all teaching the youngins to breach. How cool is that? We could have sat and watched what we think were humpback whales all day. But as quick as they arrived, they were gone. And we were really, really wet. Next on the list was Leonard's Island. It's down a pretty short and unchallenging track, but the rain was definitely making things a little slippery. In fact, the climb down to the beach was a bit sketch in the rain. The views were totally worth it though. day of our trip, the rain thankfully stopped. Before hitting the road for the long seven, maybe eight hour drive home, the plan was to head across the plains to try and find a track that heads up to Wollumla Peak. Steady on, dude. <laughs> Long story short, we took a lot of wrong turns, but it was totally worth it and we eventually found Wollumla Peak Trail.
This track was heaps of fun. Loads of steep, steady, second gear low climbs, followed by even steeper second or even first gear low descents. The whole way you're hugging the edge with a massive drop on one side and epic views out over the valley. The camera kind of doesn't even do justice how steep some of these descents were. This last stretch was definitely the sketchiest. Pretty steep, lots of loose rock, lots of boulders. trip. Not a bad view. Oh, I've got proper nip on. Right, should we go home? <laughs>